We're good? Okay. Let's talk about separately excited generators. If you look at this line ladder here, you see what I did is I disconnected the shunt field from its connection across the armature. Okay? We apply a constant 120 volts to it. Everything else is the same. In fact, it's the same diagram. All I did is went and erased the connection here and here and connected up a separate 120 volt power supply to the shunt field. Now if you look at that, and if we have voltage drop inside the armature, is the voltage applied to this shunt field going to change? No. No, no it's fixed at 120 volts. So we don't have this problem of losing our magnetic field here due to our IR drop anymore, do we? Okay? So our separately excited shunt field is going to be a lot better at maintaining our output voltage. The other part about it is we can have finer control of our output voltage. Okay? We can start talking about things of connecting up a regulator on here so we can maintain our output voltage across the mode. We'll talk about voltage regulators in our next class, keeping the uh, voltage constant across the full load output, making up for our voltage <coughs> drop and everything. Okay? But if you look at this, all of our calculations, <coughs> IT is now real simple. IT is just equal to our IL, isn't it? Okay? Nothing else to consider. We change our load current. That's our total current. Turn our mode current off, our total current goes off. Okay? So what happens when we looked at the output mode, okay, the mode chart of volts over amps on this type of generator, we had three losses with the self-excited, right? Armature reaction, the IR drop, and the loss of magnetism. You just got rid of one of those, the loss of magnetism, so now we just have our armature reaction and our IR drop. IR drop isn't going away, is it? No. It's still inside our armature. Okay? And everything's set up here with this separately excited shunt generator. So when you do your labs and you compare the output to your self-excited, you get all your data points for that in the lab for your self-excited generator, then immediately after that you do the separately <coughs> excited generator and what you should do is compare those two values, put them on the same graph, and see what the differences are. And you'll be able to see directly the difference between one and the other in the loss of magnetism. Okay? It's really simple. Not much to that, is there? Okay? You guys have any questions on the separately excited? And we do all the hard work with the self-excited to go and jump into this. Is that a stretch for anybody? Any questions on it? Okay. This was it. The quote, real quick, simple. Again, you've got your load resistance and your load. Re I'm sorry, your armature resistance and your load resistance here. This is separate, pulled out of your line ladder. Okay. <coughs> You guys made it through the self-excited one, the separately excited one should be easy.